Hi, my name is Keith Cooper of North Light Images. Um, the other day I did a, an introduction to a new tripod I was looking at from Rogetti T32 carbon fiber, a travel version of a tripod I use quite a lot for my architectural work. Now, I always know that if I touch upon the area of tripods, people are going to go, oh, but why would you ever use that? And, um, and things. It's very much a personal choice. So from some of the questions people asked me about using tripods and that, because I do like shooting handheld a lot of the time. Now that helps because some of my architectural industrial work, I can't use a tripod very easily. So being able to shoot handheld is always been an important part of my commercial work as well as landscape work because I don't habitually like using uh, tripods for landscape work. I don't shoot with long lenses. If I was shooting pictures of small birds with huge, great long white lenses, I'm sure I would have a very different approach to using tripods. But anyway, this is the tripod that I use for quite a bit of my macro work. That's not studio work. This is close up work, industrial work. Um, I've got it set up. This is a Bembo. Uh, this is the original Mark I. It is a very unusual tripod design in that the whole top moves. Now I'll try and show a bit of that in, in this space here, but as I've got it set up at the moment, you can see there are three legs. The three legs all attach at a joint at the top and there is a big lever that locks it tight. I'll put some links. You can still get these. You can find them secondhand. You can find newer versions of them. It's been around for quite a few years. I got this one quite a few years ago and at the time I thought why am I ever going to use that um, and it's turned out to be really useful. As you see the T piece at the top here has this bar. Now it has a quarter inch thread at that end. I think it's a three eighths inch thread at this end. Now I've got just an ordinary ball head. This is one from another tripod I tested. I've got lots of look, looks at, at different tripods on the North Light Images website long before I started doing the videos, different types of stuff. But this is just a basic solid ball head. And I've got, now this is relatively lightweight and it's also it makes it easier for me to show here. This is a Canon 100D. This is the one that uh, belongs to Karen. She used to use this for quite a bit of jewellery photography, not necessarily with this lens, but you know it's it's a nice you know, nice camera. I still, it's 18 megapixel, I still use it for taking pictures for review articles and things like that. But here it is, it's got an Arca type base on it, uh, a plate. The ball head has an Arca type setting it. You could use anything. But if I loosen this off, you'll see this here and I can tighten that up. And there we go. The camera's just a few inches off the ground. One of the nice bits about the way you can splay the legs of this is you'll notice that this leg at the back here is actually set longer than these and is going out helps offset it for balance. I find it really easy to use this for balance. Now I'm going to try and adjust it. Um, I was something to be wary of doing while you're explaining what you're doing. I'm going to put the that back up there. If I loosen this off you can see the legs just flop. There we go. That's where the legs, let's tighten that up. Now that's not at necessarily, it, it's optimal so, and it would tip this way if I was not holding it, but you can see the camera, I can just put it anywhere I like. This I, has got me out of trouble, no end of times, because the legs extend quite a bit. So you could have it, uh, you know, they, they'd go to double this length. This has enabled me to get cameras inside equipment and do various things particularly where the light is not good. I might want a long exposure to show movement perhaps, or to blur movement inside machinery. Uh, if you are doing stuff like that, don't have straps like this attached. Uh, you really do not want you know, camera straps attaching to the stuff. But this is just the sort of stuff I know because I, I work with live machinery. I have to be take quite a bit of care in doing it. But anyway, there's the basic tripod set up like that. In fact, if I want to use it normally, Let's see if we can get this to do here. What I can do is take that leg over to that side. I can set that. And I lock this up. You lock it quite tightly. And there we go. Loosen off the ball head. And 
it's an ordinary tripod. Now, let me just lower that a bit since I've just noticed that uh, it's too high to show in the screen. There we go, we'll lower that a bit. And there we go. Um, Bembo Mark I original tripod, just far more versatile than you might think it is to start with. Uh, it's, it's metal, it's not exceedingly lightweight, but it is so versatile for it. You'll find that people have used them, keep them. Um, you might be able to find a good deal secondhand or something like that. Uh, but anyway, there it is. Uh, just a quick example of some of the gear I use for my professional photography. Oh, it will take quite a bit heavier camera than this as well, by the way. Anyway, I hope that's of interest. If you're curious about any of the kit that I use for various things, do let me know because I can always knock up one of these quick videos to try and explain aspects of using it. Thanks for watching and uh, bye.